good morning and welcome everybody. Uh, this is Friday. Uh, thanks for being here and I'm excited for the weekend. I'm not excited for the smoke though. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I got some new streaming software. So I got some cool little uh, emoticons going on here. I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the warm up. So again, it's always good if you guys get here uh, a little bit early so that you can have time to do the warm up. We just don't have a lot of time in class to, to do a little bit more practice, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and unfreeze this and I'm going to uh, get going on uh, this warm up. Okay, so turn that off. All right, uh, you can tell, so I got this new, uh, I got this new uh, software. So you can see it's called Manicam. Um, I think I really like it because it makes making uh, videos a little bit easier. So uh, sorry for the watermark there. I'm going to purchase this and get rid of the, the watermark. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go over this. So this is what we talked about last time. Oop, have to unfreeze it. So this is what we talked about last time. We talked about uh, adding two polynomials or subtracting two polynomials. Um, ooh. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do both of these. So remember the first trick here is we want to find like terms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this 2x, right? So I have two of these x's. And then over here, I take a look and I have negative one of this x. So I'm going to want to combine like terms. So if I have two here and I have negative one here, two take away one is just one x. And remember, we... Um, we get a little lazy with writing. So there's a one here and you don't have to write it. If you do write it, it's not a big deal, right? It's just that if we don't have to do it, we don't, okay? Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna take a look at my constants. So it looks like I have a negative four here and a positive 10 here. So I'm gonna wanna combine those. So negative four plus 10, that's gonna be plus six. And again, uh, I'm doing this in my head just to uh, to make it quick. You guys obviously can always use a calculator and please, please, please always use a calculator. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Can you go ahead and add your last name or you can type it in chat and I can add it for you. Okay, so after adding these things, that was it. That's what we have. Okay, so again, at any point, if you guys have questions or you want me to slow down, uh, go ahead and ask that. Uh, Josh is like, speed up, speed up. All right, all right. Uh, okay, so um, I appreciate that, Joshua. I really do. I appreciate that. Do you go by Josh or Joshua? Josh, thank you, Josh. I really appreciate that. And Rebecca, thank you. I really appreciate that as well. Okay. Okay, so going to this one. Now, when we do the difference, right, when we're subtracting, that's when things get uh uh, more difficult. So there's one more step, right? So we're going to add one step here. So first, we're going to distribute. Okay, so to distribute, that's where I'm going to use my little arrows, right? So I'm going to multiply negative fi uh, 5x by a negative, and I'm going to multiply 4 by the negative. So my new equation looks like this. I didn't do anything to the first basket. But the second basket turns into this. Oops. Plus a negative 5x minus 4. Okay? So notice how everything in here became negative. Hey, Angelica, I hear you. And thanks for communicating. We'll make it work, okay? So, um... Everyone's name is, is, is perfect for attendance. So if you have your first and last name, uh, then I can take attendance. If your first name is different than what is on Skyward, uh, you can just shoot me an email and let me know that you go by a different name than what's on Skyward. But your last name is really important because I have to be able to take attendance. Thanks guys for asking those good questions in chat. So again here, the first thing I do with negatives is I distribute, right? And notice how it changed the sign of everything in, and this changed to a positive, right? So the reason why we do this, we distribute, is because now I'm adding just like I did here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and look for uh, like terms. 
So I have a negative 3x here, and I have negative 5x here, so I can combine those. And then, so negative 3 and negative 5, right? So I go 5, uh, sorry, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to have negative 8x. And then, because I'm getting more negative, right? Like I owe money and I owe more money. So now I owe, you know, negative 8. And then what else do we have here? We have a positive 2 and a negative 4. So that's going to be minus 2. And again, I'm going quicker here through the warm-up. But again, you can always use uh, a calculator. Uh, so the calculator I've been using uh, on my cell phone, uh, and you can use this on a Chromebook or a cell phone, is Desmos Scientific Calculator. Um, my cell phone, of course, isn't working, so uh, I can't show you. That really is um, unfortunate. So um, I'll get that up later. Okay. Uh, does anybody have questions about these two? Uh, I do want to point out, make sure you got you have your homework done. Okay, make sure your homework is done uh, and get that in. If you need help, guys, please ask questions. Ask questions in the chat. Email me. Uh, I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. I want to make sure you guys know this stuff and you feel good about it. I did have some questions. Okay, where would you like me to go back? Would you like me to go back to A, to B? If you want, you can turn on your mic and ask, or you can type it in chat. Oh, on the homework. Oh, excellent. So, Rebecca, I can't spend, so I can't, because we have such little time. Uh, so can I suggest that you join me in my office hours and we can go over it and I can do the problem with you or you send me an email and then we do that outside of class. Does that kind of make sense? So if you shoot me an email, I could respond with you an email um, and we can talk about it there or during my office hours, we can just sit down and, and do the homework together so that we can uh, we can help you out. Okay. So, uh, and we still got time on that. So uh, let me know, uh, shoot me an email. You can shoot at me right now and I'll respond to you after class. Okay. Hey Fabian, that's wonderful. So guys, again, the best way to do that is to email me um, or join my office hours to ask questions just because during class time, we only have 50 minutes. So I'm gonna use class time to, uh, to, te to teach and get going. And then my office hours, uh, and anytime outside of this, you guys can shoot me an email. We can sit down and do problems together and we can do that, okay? So that gives us more time to ask questions and get help. And um, we'll just focus on this short time getting the lesson, okay? So Fabian and Rebecca, I'm really looking forward to uh, you guys shooting me an email, okay? All right, so what are we doing today? Today we are doing 7.2 and 7.3 out of our book and what we're going to be talking about is multiplying uh, polynomials okay so last class we worked on adding and subtracting today we're going to work on uh, multiplying them, okay. And as always, uh, if you have questions about what I'm doing in class, please go ahead and ask now. Um, and if you have questions about the homework, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email or join my office hours. Okay. So what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm just going to show you an example. Uh, we're going to, for example, let's say I want to multiply x plus 2 times x plus 5. Now, it's really important that when you have things next to each other, it's multiplication. We just don't write it, right? So this means the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x plus 5, okay? So to do this, we're going to use, the book calls it a table. Uh, so the book calls it the table method. Okay, I call it the box method. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead 
and draw a box like that. Okay. And then what I do, so we have one, two terms and one, two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a grid that's two by two because I have one, two terms here. And I have two terms here. Okay, so I made a two by two box. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, now it doesn't matter if I put it on the top or left, so where I put it doesn't matter. I'm going to have x plus 2, and I'm going to have x plus 5. So again, where you put it doesn't matter. I could put x plus 5 up here. I could put uh, x plus 2 down here. All that matters is I have the x plus 2, and I have the x plus 5. So you guys might have seen this when doing multiplication, like multiplication tables. Okay, it's the exact same idea. So think of it as finding area. I'm going to go one box at a time. So if I cover all of that up, all I have is a one square, and the length of that square is x and x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two together. Now, a common mistake here is 2x. That would be adding. So we have to remember we're multiplying. So I'm going to write x squared, right? Because if I have, I'm going to go over here for a second, x plus x is going to equal 2x, right? But x times x is going to equal x squared. Okay, so the difference between adding, I have two of them, and then x times x, this is just shorthand for x times x. Okay. So, Again, what I'm doing here, I'm just finding the area of every square. So I'm going to go x times x. Now, to find the area of this one up here, do you see how it's a 2 by an x? So this square right here is 2 by x. So I'm going to go 2 times x. So I'm going to get 2x. Okay, so I went 2 times x. And then for this bottom left one, I'm going to have x times 5. So that is 5x. Okay, so I went 5 times x okay, to get this area right here. And then for this bottom right one, I'm going to go 2 times 5. So that's 10. And again, I wish my phone was working. All of this, um, all the numbers part of this can be done on your phone. Gosh, my phone, I wish. Uh, you can be, sorry, when I mean on phone, you can be doing it on the Desmos calculator. Uh, my phone is dying a horrific death, a slow, painful, um, here we go. So again, uh, you can use your calculator uh, to do this, right? I can always just go two uh, times uh, five. Uh, it's gonna tell me 10, okay? So like that. So we're not done yet. So notice now, we found the area of each small piece, right? So step one, find the area of the small squares. I'm going to say boxes. And then two, we're going to add up all the boxes. Because remember, multiplication is actually just a shortcut for addition. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these up. So when I go to add these up, I'm going to have, so I have an x squared. Okay, and then I'm going to have plus 2x, and then plus 5x, and then plus 10. Okay, so all I did is I added up the small boxes. Okay. And then what I have here, a little bit more room. What I have here then is we can simplify this because, hey, check it out. Right? Don't these look the same? They both, right? If I have two x's and I have five x's, then I really have seven x's. And then if I was your friend, you might be like, Cref. Maybe you need to slow down in the dating scene, right? You're having too many X's. Yeah, that was a pretty bad joke. 
All right. That's the process, guys. So what we did here, okay, is we took these two terms, we multiplied them together to get a new term. Okay. So obviously this is a lot, right? So we're going to spend today really focusing on multiplying and getting that done. Okay. So let's do uh, one more uh, example together and then uh, I'll have you guys try one. Okay. You guys doing okay? You still alive? You guys haven't left? You're not playing Fortnite? <laughs> so remember, so now is a good time. If you see something that's confusing, I can answer those questions, right? This is a good time to answer questions that we see in class. So let's do another example. Um, example two. Okay. So um, I just got to make sure which one did I use. Okay. So I am going to multiply these two binomials. So I have the quantity of 2x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 5. And remember, when we write them together, that means multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. Now, this has two terms. This has two terms. Okay, so I'm going to make a two by two box. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write these down on the edges of my box. So last time I put this one on the top, so I'm going to put it on the side because order doesn't matter. Okay, so once I have them labeled, now all I'm doing is I'm going to find the area of these small boxes. So I can use my fingers to cover it up. So this gets a little bit different now. So we're going to treat, see how there's numbers and letters, right? So we have a number two, but we have letters X's. You're going to treat them separately. So for example, if I have a two here, what number is here? We just don't see, isn't that really a one, right? That's really a one, isn't it? So the first thing I would do is I would say, what is 2 times 1? Well, 2 times 1 is 2. And then what is x times x? That is x squared. Okay, so what I did here is I did my numbers first, and then I did my letters second. Okay, so I have 2x squared. Then this next one, I'm going to have 5 times 2x. Now notice there's no x here, right? So I'm just going to be multiplying the numbers. So 2 times 5 is 10. And then the x, there's no x here, so the x just stays the same. Right? So if I had 2x's and then I said 5, that's really 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 2x. And that would be a total of 10x. Keep on going here. Again, there's no x down here. So I'm just going to go 3 times 1. So 3 times 1. Oop, I got to be careful here. I almost missed it. You guys see how there's a negative here? That's what's new, isn't it? So this is really negative 3. You know what? Maybe it would have been better if I had just gone like this and said, um, put the negative there. So it's 2x minus 3. Because I need to remember that. Because negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Right, and then I have my x. So see how there's this negative here, right? So it's really minus three, okay? So I'm gonna have negative three times one. That gives me negative three x. And then I go here, I'm gonna have negative three times five up here, okay? So negative three times five. And so that's gonna be negative 15. And again, you guys can just go ahead and at any time use your calculator to get those done. I encourage you to use a calculator. Okay. All right. So our first step is done. We found all the small areas. Now we have to go through and we have to add up all the small areas. So I'm going to have 2x squared plus 10x 
minus 3x minus 15. Okay. Notice these two, they look alike, so I can combine like terms. So my final answer is going to be 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. And again, guys, with the adding, you can just go 10 minus 3 in your calculator. So, do you guys think you could try one on your own? Can you just say yes or no in the in the chat? I would like to hear from more than just three people, guys. So, can you just type yes or no in the chat to tell me if you're ready for to try one out? Hey, and kind of is perfect, right? Because we're going to make mistakes. Okay? We're going to make mistakes. So, why don't we go ahead and try one out and see what happens? And hey guys, if we make mistakes and we don't learn this today, we're going to have extra time to go back and and uh, and try these things, okay? So let's do one with a negative in it. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and to multiply these. Okay. And I'm going to put a timer up. I'm going to give you guys two minutes. Get as far as you can. Mistakes are going to happen, right? This is new stuff. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to feel uncertain. Just try your best. And we're going to go from there because that's all I want. I just want your best. Okay, and I'm just so glad you're here. So thanks for being here. Uh, remember that uh, everything you missed, I'm recording this lesson and I'm posting to YouTube. You can find the link in Google Classroom underneath Classwork. There's a, a document called Links to Class Videos. So if you need, you can go back and take a look at that. I'm just glad you're here. And you'll be, you'll be on time next time, so that's okay. All right, guys. Um, so some of you uh, probably had success. Some of you maybe got stuck or frustrated, but that's okay. Wherever you got to, I'm going to start going over this. And if I get to a point and that's where you got stuck, maybe you say, hey, Kref, stop, and then have me explain what happens after that, okay? So if you if you got stuck and you want to uh, and you want need help with that, as I'm going through this, if you see where you got stuck, you can just say stop and then we can go over it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. Now, this is uh, two terms, one, two terms. This is two terms. So I'm going to make a two by two. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, write these down. So again, if you uh, if you wrote x minus 5 down here, that's totally fine. We're going to have the same problem, right? So uh, just to be certain that this is the same thing. So if you wrote it like this, it's the same thing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and find the area of the small boxes. So x times x is x squared 
negative 5. Ooh, do you guys see how this is a negative 5? Negative 5 times x, that's negative 5x. x times 1, that's just x, right? We don't have to write the 1 there. And then 1 times negative 5, that's a negative 5. Okay? Again, I hope you guys are using calculators. They help out a lot. If you did this one up here, it's just going to look like this. Okay? So these two are switched, but it's the same numbers. Are we all doing okay with the box and finding the small areas? Okay, because what's going to... Oh, that's good, guys. Thanks for responding. I really appreciate that. It helps me understand if you guys get it or not. If you guys don't say anything, I don't know if you get it. So what I'm going to do now to end this is I'm going to add up all the small boxes to get the total area. Thank you guys for typing in yes. So I'm going to get x squared. I'm going to get negative 5x. I'm going to get positive x and minus 5. So again, it doesn't matter how you set it up. We're still going to get the same answer here. Uh, I'm going to notice here again, I can add these two together. So I'm going to get x squared and I'm going to get minus 4x minus 5. And again, with the adding, if you need help with that, go ahead and use a calculator. Okay. Um, can you guys do me a favor? Because I'm probably going to forget. There is another way to multiply out binomials, but we're just not going to have time to do it today. And I'm not going to really ask that you guys do it. So uh, if you guys want, can you guys remind me next class to be like, hey, Kreft, you were like, there's another way of doing multiplication. Can you guys remind me of that? I'll try to remember as well. Um, I'm just not going to go over it today because that method causes way more mistakes. So we're just going to focus on this one method and get you guys really good at it because this is actually going to come back next lesson. So that's why I'm going to focus on this. Okay. All right. Uh, just really quickly, uh, both the examples we did. So here's just uh, example number three. Uh, you can multiply any length of of things. So take a look at this first one. This one has two terms. Okay. And this one has three terms. So uh, besides being a little bit longer, it's the exact same problem. But this time when I draw a box, I'm just going to draw it a little bit longer. So on one side, I'm going to have two, but then I'm going to have three. So when I go to write this, I'm going to have x squared minus 3x minus 2, and then x plus 5. Okay. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time doing these types of problems, but when you get to Algebra 2, you are going to see these type of problems. So I want you guys just to know that uh, it doesn't always have to be a 2 by 2. And depending on what you have, you can make your box out. So I'm just going to do this super quickly. You don't need to follow along. Uh, x times x squared would be x cubed, right? Because I have 1 plus 2. Okay. And then this would be negative 3x squared, negative 2x, 5x squared, uh, negative 15x, and negative 10. Okay. So again, I just wanted to show you this, right? This is just, just showing you that it works, okay? So if you felt overwhelmed by that, I just want to show you that it works, okay? That's all. All right. Um, if I have time, we're going to come back and we're going to practice another one. Uh, we're going to practice another one of these, okay? Uh, but what time is it? It is 10.39. So before, I want to make sure I get through all our content, and then we'll come back and practice. So uh, in 7.3, there are some special cases of multiplying.
And we just have to be aware of these. They're actually not too bad. They're, they're pretty straightforward. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is it's something that's called a perfect square. Okay. Now, you don't need to remember the name perfect square, but a perfect square is some number plus some number squared. And you can also have some number minus some number squared. So you're like, crap, that doesn't make any sense to me. What's A, what's B, what's going on? Let's just do an example and dive right into it. Okay. Let's say I have 3x plus 4 quantity squared. Now, this one looks different. And if we look back at the problem we did, notice how... In this one, wasn't there two separate things? Okay, but in this one, there's just one of them. So we have to remember what that squared means. This means, oops, this means there are two of them. Okay. And it's a shortcut for multiplication. So I'm going to say this a lot. Mathematicians are lazy, and we love being lazy, right? So anywhere we can save time, we try to save time, okay? So this is really this. Do you see how writing this takes less time than writing all of this? So this right here is a special type of multiplication because they don't write it all out. Now, that's kind of annoying because for us, don't we want to write it all out? Yeah, we do. We want to write it all out. Okay. So just remember, if you see one term squared, that means there's two of them, right? And it's just copying them. So we can go ahead and solve this just like we would normally would. So I'm going to actually put two minutes back up. And I want you guys to go ahead and multiply these. Okay, so take two minutes and go ahead and multiply those. All right, so uh, hopefully you guys saw here that uh, though it started out looking different, right? That's the only thing we're adding. 
is that if you see something squared, it just means that there's two of them, okay? So hopefully you guys are uh, you're doing okay. No one has asked any questions yet. So it's I have two terms here. I have two terms here. I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to split it into a two by two grid. They're the same, so it really doesn't matter where I put them. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to multiply. So we get a little tricky here. So if I go into that first box, I have, I'm going to do my numbers first. So I have three times three, that's nine. And then I have to do X times X, that's X squared. Okay. Then the upper right one, I'm going to have 3x and 4. So I'm going to do the uh, numbers first. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I have an x. And then 3x times 4, I'm going to do the 3 times 4. That's 12. And then I have an x. And then I have 4 times 4. That is 16. Okay. Again, if you're not super great with your mental math, you're going to get better because you're going to keep practicing. But we can also use a calculator, right? I wasn't very good at my mental math at first, too, but I kept working on it, and I'm getting, I've gotten a lot better. So now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add these together. So to add these together, I'm going to get 9x squared. I have a 12x. I have another 12x, and I have a 16. Okay, and then check it out. I can combine these two terms. I'm going to have 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. So uh, I, hopefully you guys are getting that. If you're not getting that, um, I really hope you would ask a question because I can't tell uh, through the internet if you are getting this or not. You have to let me know. You have to tell me. You can send me a private chat. Uh, so people, if you're if you're worried about people seeing it, you can send me a private chat, or um, you can uh, turn on your mic and ask a question. Okay. So take a second. If you have a question, let me know. So since no one is asking questions, I'm just assuming, because I, I can't see anything, that everyone's just like, hey, Kreft, I got this and I'm feeling really good. Or Kreft, I kind of get it, I'm getting there, with a few more practice, I'll get it. Is that is that what you guys are saying? Kind of. See, Christian, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to be 100% right now. It's kind of like, if I have my notes out and I look at my homework, I, I probably can kind of get it. Yeah. That's good. That's a good place to be. That's where I want you to be. I want you to be in that kind of. If you guys could just learn from one example problem, you guys would be eh, crazy. All right, so uh, sounds like we should do another problem. Now, I'm not going to give you two minutes now. I'm going to give you one and a half minutes. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's do another problem. So in this one, I'm going to give you a heads up. In this one, it, the answer is going to look different than the other ones. So it's the same process. It's just your answer is going to look a little different. So I'm changing up the letter. This is a T. T plus 5 times T minus 5. Okay. I'm going to give you guys 1 minute, 30 seconds. And I want you guys to try this one out. And if you guys are getting stuck while we're working on this, you can always ch uh, type me uh, a question in the chat. Again, it can be private. You can send a message just to me if you'd like.
All right. So uh, was was a minute thirty? Was that okay time? You can type yes or no into the chat. And remember, if you guys don't say anything, then whoever says something is speaking for you, right? So make sure you get your voice heard, right? That's important. Okay. So good. We can do a minute thirty. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a box. And uh, I'm a little worried, guys. No one's asking questions. So um, if you guys have questions, please, please, please ask, ask, ask. So I'm going to put these in. So I might have t minus 5 and t uh, plus 5. So again, it doesn't matter what goes where. If you have them switched, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So I have t times t. That is t squared. Okay. And then I have t times negative 5. That's negative 5t. I have t times positive 5. So that's 5t. And then I have 5 times negative 5. That's negative 25. We doing, we're good there, guys. Ooh, there's my thumbs up. We're good. We're bad. I might go a little bit faster than you. You don't have to be as fast as me, right? I don't expect that. So I'm going to go ahead and add up all of these small boxes. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you uh, responding. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go t squared minus 5t plus 5t minus 25. Uh, with my t's, I try to put a little curly on the bottom. And then with my pluses, I try not to have that curly. I know t's and pluses are hard. Uh, I can combine here now. So if I have negative 5t and positive 5t, what happens to those? They, they cancel out, don't they? They go to zero. So really my answer is t squared minus 25. You see how this answer looks a lot different than this answer? It has one less term, doesn't it? That's because this is called the difference of squares. You don't need to know that. That's just that's just on the side. I just like that way when you go hang out this weekend, you can impress all your family and friends because they'll be like, "How's school going?" and be like, "Well, you know, I'm just finding the difference of squares." And then everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, what? This is unreal. This person's so awesome, right?" They're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, uh, they're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, this is so awesome!" All right, maybe 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 not with the emojis. All right, okay, so. There's that. Uh, we should have used x. So Fabian, I'm so glad you brought that up. In algebra, uh, we can use, we use all, all the different letters. And so as we go further and further in math, we have to get used to using different letters. So in geometry, we're gonna start using Greek letters. So in geometry, we'll start using letters like beta and phi. You already use a Greek letter, you use delta. Right, so it doesn't matter what we have to we have to wean ourselves off x. X is really nice because we're used to it, but um, it does look like a plus. So, like I was saying before, with the t, I'm going to put a little curl on it, and the plus, I'm not going to put a little curl on it. So we got to practice on doing that because that's going to show up, okay? And in your homework, there's going to be different variables as well. All right, hey, we have a little bit more time, so let's do one more problem. One more practice problem. Uh, let's go ahead and, so this is our last one. I think, is, is it, are we on example four? Oh, example three. So I want you guys to try on your own. So I have the quantity of 5x minus 2y squared. And just to get you guys started, remember with the squared, that means there are two Right, so there's two of these. So I want you to go ahead and multiply these. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a minute and a half. We do have advisory next. Great question, Christian.
Right, right. So uh, I bet some of you guys got thrown off with the X and the Y, right? So that's why I did this one, right? And hey, it's okay. Did you, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm totally, I'm totally with you. You're like, come on, Kreft, you're being mean. You're, you're making us do stuff we don't know how to do. Hey guys, you totally can do this. And remember, it's always good to try, see where you get stuck. Then you know, oh, I'm getting stuck here. This is what threw me off. So I really appreciate that. Um, so let's go ahead and go over this. So the first thing I'm going to do, squared just means there's two of them. Right? And they're identical. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a box. Okay? And on this box, I'm going to have 5x minus 2y, and I'm going to have 5x minus 2y. Okay? So this first box, you guys probably did okay, because it's 5x and 5x. So 5 times 5 is 25, and then x times x is x squared okay so that one's like normal right but then we get to here and it's like crap what are you doing to us well we got this guys five times negative two that's negative ten okay so i did five times negative two that's negative ten now look at the x and the y those don't look the same right they're two different letters and if they're two different letters we can't mash them together they have to be separate so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go, it's negative 10 times x times y. What? You guys, you guys are probably like, what? It was that easy? Yeah, you just, just multiply them together, right? Because we can't combine them. So we're just going to say, hey, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And then we have x times y, which is just xy. So what do you think, Christian and Angelica? Do you guys think that's okay? Uh, what if you put y first? Great. You can totally put y first. Esteban, that was such a great question. Yeah, you could put y first. The only reason I put x first is it, became, it came first in the alphabet. So that's the only reason I did that. Does that kind of make sense? So don't worry about order. If you put the y first, that's okay. I just went alphabetically. Okay, let's keep going here. So negative 2 times 5. Uh, so it does not. So, so just, just to make sure... You could have written negative 10yx. Okay? But I'm always going to put them in alphabetical order. So x comes first, right? So I put xy. So doing this, I have negative 2 times 5. That's negative 10. And then I have y times x. So again, I think it's really important to put them in order. Because if you put them in order, then you see, do you guys see how these are the same? But if I had done this, it looks like they're not the same, right? Do you see how they're, right? So I would say whatever you do, try to be the same. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. I need to finish up this. Please stay. So, and then I have negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then here, the y's are the same, so I can group them. I have y squared. Okay? So when I go to write this out, I'm going to have 25x squared minus 10xy right? Negative 10xy, negative 10xy, and then plus 4y squared. So however you do it, just be consistent. If you want to write yx, always write yx, because what we see here is, aren't these the same thing? So I really have negative 20xy plus 4y squared. Okay? So Guys, it is uh, past 11 o'clock, so I just want to say this before you leave, before you leave, just make sure you do your homework. Your homework is going to be up right now on Google Classroom. Do your homework. It is due next time I see you, which will be Tuesday. If you have questions, please email me. If you want to stick around just for a little bit before advisory, you can. If not, goodbye, guys. Have a great weekend, and take care. Enjoy and be safe, okay? If you have a, a quick question that you want to ask, you can stick around and ask that, okay? So bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves.